Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today I just wanted to make this quick video to let you know that I have released the template for my Ninja Stinger transition in After Effects. You can download it in the link down in the description, but before you head down there and download it, or you can start the download and then come back up to me, I wanted to show you real quick how to work the template. So when you go down there to download it, you're gonna get a Mediafire link, you're gonna download it from there, and then you're gonna get the zip file. Once you zip it and extract it, you're gonna see it says Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Stinger Transition Template. You're going to click in there. You're going to get my fake logo that I created just to throw in there. It's a Photoshop document. And then you're going to have the actual After Effects file project. So you're just going to open that up and it's going to open up this project right here. So as you can see, if you hit play, it's got the full transition animated in here. Now all the layers and compositions are named to make it really easy for you. So you'll see down here, we've got color one, color two, and color three. So these are for your channel colors. When you click on one of them, you're gonna to wanna to go to effects controls and you're gonna see this little drop down box where you can change the color. It's default set to ninja's colors. So if I go to right here, this has got all three of the colors on screen. So if you change color one to like uh, green, you're gonna see it changes there. Then we're gonna go up here, change color two, which is the yellow. You just click on color two down here, go up to effects controls, this little box, you can change it to your channel colors. You can also hit this little eyedropper tool and select any color inside of the project. Um, this also includes your logo. So if you have your logo in here, just hit this little eyedropper right there and you can select a color out of your logo. So if you wanted this blue out of this logo, click it there. If you wanted the gray out of this logo, you click it there. We'll leave it gray for now. And then if you hit color three, same box up here in effects controls, you can change this to whatever you want. Then you wanna hit play and boom, you've got this new colors in there for whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and take them back to the ninja colors here. There we go. And then for your logo, you're gonna see there's a composition here called your logo here. If you don't see it right here, you can click on it down here. Your logo here, you're gonna double click on there and here is where the logo is. You just wanna either hide the fake logo or delete it and then throw your logo in. So if I bring the fake logo in, it's gonna work just like this for you. You bring your logo in, you import it in, drop it in here. You may need to scale it down or scale it up and you wanna make it kind of about that big, about how big it was when the fake logo was in there. And then you just head back to the final render tab and there you go, you've got your Ninja transition. Now I'm gonna show you how to export it real quick. What you're gonna wanna do is you go to composition and you wanna go to add to render queue. Make sure that your in and out points are set where you want to include the whole transition. You wanna sit composition, add to render queue. You wanna click where it says lossless and probably change the format to QuickTime. So go down here, change it to QuickTime, change where it says channels right here to RGB plus alpha. You need that alpha so that it goes over your footage and doesn't have a black background. So RGB plus alpha, hit okay. And then on the final render right here, you can click it and name it whatever you want and save it wherever you want. Then you just wanna hit render and you are done guys. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you go down and download your own Ninja transition template. Anytime I release an After Effects project in the future, I'm going to release a template with it now because so many people asked for it in this video. It was just bam, 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 template, template, template. It was crazy how many people wanted the template. I even did a poll on Twitter and it was a hundred percent. Yes, I want templates in the future when I create After Effects projects. So whenever it makes sense, I will try to release a template with it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.